While working with Windows Forms, we need to keep open some windows all the time. Let's examine the windows we will work with and keep them open all the time. The first window we need to keep open is Solution Explorer and in this window we can simply see our project and the project files. For example, our project name is WinForms Demo. This is our form control. Here is a designer and this is program.cs file which is the entry point of the application. Using this window, you can even open the save location of your project. For example, you will simply right click on your project name and then you will select the option open folder in file explorer. It will open the save location of your project on your hard drive. If you accidentally close any window, not only the solution explorer, any window, then you can get it back from the view menu, such as at the top you see the option solution explorer. So let me just close the solution explorer window and now we will get it back from the view menu and here we have solution explorer. Let's click on it and you can see the window is back. The second important window is the toolbox window. In this window we have all our controls such as button, checkboxes, group boxes etc. And once again if you want to open this window you will go inside the view menu and here you will find the option toolbox. Another window we need to have opened all the time is the properties window. Using this window, we set the properties of our controls. Let's say when I select the form 1, I simply click on the form 1 and you can see the properties we can adjust for the form control. When we put more controls on the form, this properties window will simply maintain a list of all the controls. So here we have a drop down menu. Right now we only have a single control which is the form 1 and that's why you don't see the list of controls here. Properties windows can be opened in several different ways. The first option is as usual the view menu. Click the view menu and down there you have the properties window. You can also open the properties window doing a right click on the form and then select the properties. Right so these are the three main windows we need to keep open all the time while working with the windows forms. The last window is the error list window where the error are placed. So whenever there is an error in our program, we will consult with this error list window. All the windows have a common pin and unpinned feature. You see right next to the close option, we have a pin option, right? You see the pin option. So we can pin and unpin any window we like. Right now the solution explorer, toolbox and properties. All these three windows are pinned and I can unpin any window just by rotating this pin sign. So click on it. Now you can see the Silicon Explorer window is unpinned. It is simply hidden to the left panel. We can reopen it just by clicking the name. Now you can see the window appears again. And as I click outside of the window, it will hide itself again. It's open but hidden. So we can pin and unpin in the application. So these four windows are important windows and we need them most of the time while working with the wind forms. Let's now move on and it's now time to study the form control, the main controls. In our next chapter, we will study and try to understand the form control.